Welcome everyone, King Clarity Gaming here, and in today's video we're going over another one of the unreleased vehicles from the Criminal Enterprises DLC. And that vehicle today is going to be the Impante Ruiner ZZ8. So, I don't think I really need to say much about this, but this is based off a Pontiac Trans Am Generation 4. So we'll just go around it. This obviously is a muscle car. I didn't really think that I need to say that, but yeah, we will, uh, oh, we've got, uh, you know, the vehicle looked at here. All right, so we'll hop in it and drive it into the mod shop and see what we can do to it. Also, uh, for the price of this vehicle, it'll be 1320000 just in case you were wondering. And uh, it'll be available in the Southern San Andreas Super Autos. All right, let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, so, well, the obvious things like the armor, brakes. All right, bumpers, front bumpers. You got a primary splitter, secondary and carbon, primary bolt-on, secondary and carbon, primary street, secondary and carbon, primary vented, secondary and carbon and then primary extended splitter and then secondary and carbon and then primary bolt-on street and then secondary and primary bolt-on competition secondary and that's it all right and we'll just go with the carbon vented splitter and then rear you got a primary diffuser and a carbon diffuser. Vented plastic, vented painted, vented carbon, GT. Yeah, that changes the look of it a lot, actually. See, there's a vent there, and then you got the GT, vented GT, plastic with side extensions, painted with side extensions, carbon. GT diffuser with side extensions. And then that's it. And we'll go with the vented GT diffuser. Alright, and then the engine tunes, of course. Alright, so now the exhaust, you got stock, titanium stock, carbon stock, twin round titanium, twin round chrome, twin round carbon, twin big bore, Twin Chrome Big Bore, Twin Carbon Big Bore, Titanium Performance, Chrome Performance, Carbon Performance, and that's it. And we'll do the Twin Round Carbon Exhaust on this. Alright, so now the hood you got the stock hood, a secondary stock hood, a carbon stock hood. Primary smooth, secondary, and carbon. Primary cowl induction, secondary, and carbon. Primary vented, secondary, and carbon. Primary vented cowl induction, secondary, and carbon. And the primary vented stock, secondary, and carbon. And then primary GT hood, secondary, and carbon. And that's it. Uh, well, let's see here, the cowl one. That, see, that looks weird because, yeah. So we will do... Um, primary GT. Alright, horn. I'll just do a truck horn for no reason. See on lights. Sort of liveries. Tribal flame. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's a little bit black. You know what? We will paint it first. And then go back to those things. So primary. Metallic. Something like this. Screams like a green color to me. For some... You know what? No. Screams more like a red color. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, formula red. 
and then oops, and then a we'll always do the diamond blue pearlescent oh, where did it go all right there just to kind of give it a nicer look all right secondary all right there we go all right so now back to the liveries got the tribal flame Ruiner Bird, White Stripes, and then some Black Stripes, uh, White Tribal Race Stripes, it's actually kind of cool, Black Tribal Race Stripes, Red Flames that you can't really see much of because the car is red, Yogarishima, yeah, Stance Andreas, Yep. Redwood. And then that's it. Alright, so... Yeah. Let's go with the black race stripes. Just plain. Nothing too much. Alright, mud guards. You got primary, secondary, and black. To black. Plate. Already painted it. Alright, now the roof roof panels you can do stock primary C plastic C and carbon C for the pillar I'll we'll keep it at primary and now the roof you can do an open roof which is kinda cool primary t-top secondary plastic and then carbon Kind of like the stock, how it's the windows, you know? So we'll just leave it that way. Yep, alright. And then the skirts. You got primary side skirt, secondary and carbon. Primary street, secondary and carbon. Primary ridge, secondary and carbon. And then primary GT skirt, secondary, and black, which is kind of like carbon anyway. And then primary vented GT skirt, secondary, and carbon. And then that's it. We'll do the carbon ridge skirts. Alright, the sun strip. You got white Fukaru, black Fukaru, white main mock, black main mock, white power metal, and black power metal. We'll do the black Fukaru. And then spoilers, which kind of already has one, but secondary stock, primary commando spoiler, secondary primary ducktail. Secondary and then plastic. Primary low level GT. Secondary and carbon. Primary mid level GT. Secondary and carbon. Primary sports GT wing. Secondary and carbon. And then primary race GT. Secondary and carbon. Primary high level GT. Secondary and carbon. And then, yeah. The thing is, like, all of this is too much. This is a spoiler on a spoiler. It's kind of ridiculous. So we will just do the secondary one. Keep it exactly stock, basically. Alright, suspension. Lower it. Transmission. Trunk, secondary, or carbon. Leave that stock. Turbo, of course. And then the windows. Oh, yeah. Oh, it didn't tint the top? Well, in that case, you know, since it didn't tint the top windows, what we'll do is go back to the roof. Oh, right there. 
roof pan, not panels, the roof itself, and we will do the primary T tab. Since it didn't tint it anyway. Alright, now down to the wheels. And we don't need to add any special wheels. This is a muscle car, we'll put muscle wheels on it. So let's see. something with a little yeah the five star wheels in there wheel color make it carbon black instead tire design bulletproof tires then of course the red tire smoke and that's basically it for this and now we'll take it for a test drive and bring it back and compare it to the stock all right here we go Right, 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 right. Since it's a muscle car, let's make sure it can do a wheelie. Yep, sure can. Okay. Not a great wheelie, but it can do a wheelie. Handling-wise, it's not bad. I was expecting this to have a much better... Um, acceleration, but we'll see what it's like once we actually get it out to the highway here. Alright, almost out to the highway, and again, like usual, we'll just drive the vehicle out to Chumash, and yeah, and if this is getting, like, glitchy and stuff, I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell's going on with my computer, I've always had these problems when recording these videos. But yeah, so 117 miles per hour so far, not bad. Definitely not the fastest top speed, but could be worse. Going around corners, roughly around the 110, making it with no problem, which is good. Alright. Drive it back. Acceleration isn't great. Can't help but think the older ruiner is faster. And I mean, we've been. Yep, the turbo's in there, definitely. But yeah, I mean. I was expecting a lot better from this, but. There's other cars that I've driven that have been far, far slower than this, so. Say the top speed's about 117 in this. And yeah, we'll just get it back to the mod shop and compare it to its stock counterpart. It, does, it doesn't handle bad, and it breaks alright. Sits and spins when it takes off. Wheelies aren't great on it. Um, the car looks good. Drives decent. Um, it's just not horribly fast. Like, it's not slow, but it's just not fast. Acceleration is not great in it. And, yeah. Is it worth the 1.3 million price tag? Probably not. Will I buy it? Probably so. Just because I buy all the cars, but, yeah. Um, it's not horrible. It's a good-looking car. And we are back. Er all right, give me one moment here while I bring the stock version out. So yeah, again, there is the fully modified versus the stock version. Actually, not a whole lot different. 
other than like spoiler, splitters, side skirts. Not even the spoiler. Really, it's just a stock spoiler, because it looks the best on this car. Wheels are a little different. Hood's a little bit different, roof. That's about it. Alright, so again, so this is the Ruiner ZZ8. Uh, again, it's a muscle car for 1320000 Um Basically modeled after a Pontiac Trans Am Generation 4. And we'll just kind of walk around these cars. You can kind of compare them. See, there's not much difference because it's essentially the stock hood. But yep. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you have any questions about this car or any of the previous cars or any of the cars to come, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um... Again, thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new, remember to subscribe, and uh, have a great rest of your day.